Hi everybody, today I have for you a natural hair care products video and these are these are just the products I use on my hair. I'm not telling you to go out and buy these products, I just wanted to share what I do with you. Please remember that I do say natural but anybody who has any type of hair is welcome to use these products. And also I want to let you know that all hair is beautiful whether it's natural or whether it's relaxed, it's all beautiful. And if it's working for you, don't try to fix something that is not broken. I hope you guys love yourselves and will love this video also. Thank you for watching. Bye guys! So, today, sitting before me on my desk is a whole slew, that is a word, of natural hair care products. So my hair is natural. I have virgin hair. I have had virgin hair all of my life. Whoa! I never did the, pick, the big chop. I never reverted back to being myself. I've always wanted to go against the grain, and my mom asked me that they're great. Sure you don't want to relax her? No. I don't want to be like everybody else. I want to have curly hair. Anyway, I'm going to talk to you about the hair care products I use. This might be a long video. This might not. I don't really know how much I'm going to talk. I can go on and on, or I cannot go on and on, and it'll be shorter. So just bear with me here. So first, rules of natural hair. Number one, always comb your hair in the shower with the wide tooth comb. Deep conditioning your hair is very, very important when you're natural, when you have natural hair. Um, natural hair people, especially my type, I don't, I'm between like, what am I? My hair is like a 4A, 4B type of thing. It's very, very elastic. Elastic. And it can stretch out and you get to a certain point and you hear like it, my hair will break. If your hair is very, very elastic, that means that you need more protein. And like me, I need more protein, which means I have to deep condition my hair twice a month. And maybe even more during drier months, like in the winter. However, if you deep condition your hair too much, your hair will be dull. Whoa, mind blown. Too much of anything is a bad thing. So what I like to do when I notice my hair getting brittle, breaking off, it's already dry, needs more protein. This is what I do. Listen carefully. It's a trick. If you don't know this, well, your mind will be blown. This goes to anybody, white, black, Puerto Rican, Haitian, no matter who you are, it's a hip-hop nation from the Cheetah Girls. You should watch it. I take an egg, one egg, and some olive oil. I don't really have a measurement. I just know I take one egg and I put some olive oil in the little plastic cup I use and I mix it all around and I put it on my hair before I wash it. So I section off my hair into four big sec sections. I take my hair that is wet because I used a spray bottle and I take my wide tooth comb and I start and I comb my hair and if you get to a spot that has a knot, you don't do this. You take the hair, pretend I'm holding some hair, and you do this. Kind of like you're flicking something. And you gently get rid of the knot. And I work the egg into my hair, and I twist it to my root. And I let it sit on my hair, on my hair for 30 minutes, and I use a plastic shower cap. And I just go about my business for 30 minutes. Then... I wash my hair out and that's how you get a natural home remedy protein treatment. I saw this meme and was like to use or not to use the last egg for breakfast. Natural hair care problems problem 999. So I'm glad we got that covered. Now we can talk about all of my products here. So I introduced you thing people do about natural hair. They co-wash the hair and that means that they use conditioner co-conditioner catch my drift they use conditioner to wash the hair now you're probably probably thinking if you haven't heard of this ew but my hair it'll be dirty it'll be greasy eh, you're wrong your hair will get clean but with natural hair we have natural oils in our hair and if we strip our hair of those natural oils our hair will not be as healthy which is why some people co-wash however when I started co-washing my hair, I guess I haven't used the right product. I used the Pantene Co-Wash Hair Shampoo. Didn't work for me. I'm telling you about my natural hair care products, and I'm going to put this out there in the middle of the video. Because not all nat natural hair care products will work for you. 
repeat myself. Not all natural hair care products will work for you. You have to experiment and might spend a lot of money, read a lot of reviews, and do some natural home tricks yourself, which might be very time consuming, but if you find something that works, stick to it, okay? Don't let anybody else tell you differently. Do you, boo. For Clinically Damaged, Damaged Hair by Giovanni. I got this at Whole Foods. I use this when my hair has been fried a lot or when I decide that I'm going to go on a heat streak when I flat iron my hair. And I have no complaints about this. I just use it as like a regular conditioner sometimes, hence why it's all gone. Natural Hair Care Products 1000. Having more condition having less conditioner than shampoo. Then I have my LA styling gel by Giovanni again. I got this product at Whole Foods. I think I just mentioned that. I'm not sure. This is just your all this is just your holding gel that I use. At night when I do my hair before I go to school, my hair is really wet. And in order for my hair to stay like this, right now it's stretched and dried. When it's wet and my curls are like... I use my LA Natural Styling Gel to really hold down my edges and really hold my hair in place. And I just use a wrap at night. Then I have my Mazzani Renew Strength Fortifying Shampoo and my Renew Strength Reconstructing Mask. So, these are things that I use when I'm going to really, really wash my hair and really, really deep condition it. This is really good if you have split ends and you, or if you notice your hair getting dry and brittle. I use it during that time, especially during like October, November, December, January, February, the winter months. And that's what I use in my hair. Um, oops. It smells really good. I can't really describe the smell smells clean. I like the smell of clean hair. It has a really good smell. So, I love my Shea Moisture products. The first one I have is the Coconut and Hibiscus Curling Souffle. And I use this when I put my hair in the really big puff and I have my curl sticking out and I use it as a curling enhancing and also it's moisturizing. So I put that on my hair. And next I have the curl enhancing smoothie and this is also moisturizing and we all need that good moisturizer. However, one thing to note about these two items, they both have water in it. So your hair will draw up more if you're trying to stretch it. I wouldn't recommend using anything with water in it or using a heavy amount of your product with water in it and I use this when I style my hair when it's wet to hold in the moisture and when it's wet I normally put it in this protective hairstyle except it's not as stretched out when it's wet and I normally put that in there so then I also have another Shea Moisture product this is the raw butter infused with frankincense and myrrh this is what the inside of the curling souffle looks like it looks like jello see it smells really good too and this is what the curl enhancing smoothie looks like on the inside oh I haven't used this I just bought it this is my fourth one I've gone through it's a really good product I recommend it to all then I have my raw shea butter and this is a really good moisturizer if you don't want to put water some you don't want to use a product with water in your hair I really recommend getting a shea butter of some sort because it's really moisturizing again it doesn't have water so your hair won't go like and draw up and then I have my tea tree oil and this is what the inside looks like and this is really good when you need to oil your scalp or you want to add some extra sheen to your hair. It doesn't have water, so I often use it to brush down my edges. It's very good for that and my kitchen in the back because I don't want any peas. Then is something, this is something I think all natural hair people should have. This is called virgin coconut oil. Now, coconut oil is like at the top of what everybody should have and then the rest come below. Coconut oil, it can be a conditioner, it can be a, co a moisturizer, it can be used for styling, it can be used for straining your hair, because I do that sometimes, it can be used as like sheen, it's just all around great for your hair, it smells good, sometimes I use it to deep condition my hair, it's really good for moisture, you can grease your scalp that way, and it's just a great product. Now, I have some rules for you. Remember when you used to get your hair done when you are younger and you get those nice cornrows or you get the twist with the little 
balls at the end and your mom would always be like don't touch your hair but you wanted to like play in your hair like the other girls in school get my drift well your mom knew what she was talking about because ladies black or white if you decide that you just want to play in your hair all day that makes your hair dry and dry hair equals breakage and split ends and damaged hair and brittle hair all from you just twirling your ends one day so I recommend that you do not play in your hair a lot I know it may be tempting especially when we flat iron it and we're like oh hey hey the hair is not up here anymore but don't don't play in your hair okay you're making your hair dry then I'm gonna day needs a sleep cap okay I have like three sleep ca sleep caps goes on like this when you put your sleep cap on you know you're done for the night anyhow if you lay on a fabric pillowcase the friction that you cause at night will cause breakage and dry hair as well and friction will cause hair loss and I've noticed some people that when they drive you know how you get the little push up on your head when you're finished driving because of the headrest and if you're always rubbing your hair will start to break. So in addition to wearing a bonnet at night, I also recommend you putting a bonnet around the um, headrest in your car. So when you do this, when you drive, you won't have a little ball spot eventually in a few years from now. And if you do not have a sleep cap, I recommend getting a satin pillowcase. This again goes for if you're black or white. A satin pillowcase will do the trick as well. If you have rollers in your night, I can't vouch that they will stay in your head depending on how much you roll. But I do either recommend getting a bonnet or a satin pillowcase to prevent friction and prevent damaged hair. Then I recommend getting a head wrap. And I just like putting a head wrap on at night when I style my hair at night before I go to school because it will lay down my edges. And it goes on like so. And... These do wear out. I recommend buying more than one if you can. And they're great. So I will. No. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that it was informative. I hope I didn't scare you too much with my weird facial expressions. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, or you just want to chat with me, make sure to comment below. Give my video a thumbs up and please subscribe. I sound like one of those people on the roller coaster where they're like, make sure to keep your hands and feet in the rides at all, all times. No cell phone video recording is, is allowed. And I don't know what, the, what else they say, but I just sound like one of those people. So I hope you like this video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Tell your friends and family about me. Thank you for watching Fast and Fierce Beauty. I hope you guys have a fabulous Fast and Fierce day. Bye, guys. Is that India? What happened to her hair? Well, if I want to shave it close, so I want to rock locks that'll take a bit away from the soul that I got. Little girl with the press and curl. Age 8, I got a jerry curl. 13 and I got a relaxer. I wasn't